Hello, today I am going to start our first lecture on surface engineering of nanomaterials. The first lecture is deals with the tribology and its applications. So, first let us know that what is the meaning of the tribology. The tribology actually it is the Greek word of conjunction of two words differently, one is called the tribo, another one is called the logi. The tribo means to rub and the logi is the technology. So, in overall functions it shows that where there is a contact of two bodies and there will be a uh, distinct touch in between the two bodies, then only the tribology will occur. Now, it is the study of science and engineering interacting the surface of the two bodies. So, that means unless and until the two body will come into the contact, there will not be any tribology or any kind of mechanisms will take place. It deals with the additions, friction, wear and lubricating of all the contacting parts. That means, if unless and until the body will directly touch each other or maybe there will be some lubrications or maybe there will be some greasiness, there will be some any kind of oil or maybe any kind of mediums are there. So, if there is any direct contact or indirect contact in between the day, so tribology can occur. So, tribology deals with the concepts of basic science resulting from surface engineering of materials in an effective way. So, in other way we can say that tribology is the prime factor by which nowadays we are going to do the surface engineering of any materials. So, tribology is the cause and the surface engineering is the remedy. Now, tribological knowledge helps to improve service life, safety, reliability of interacting machine components and yields substantial economic benefits. That means, the tribology, the chapter if we deal with it properly, so what it will do? it will give you the better life of our materials, it will give you the better properties of our materials, it will give you the better surface life of our materials, so that we can use that materials for a proper way and for longer time. The focus of tribology is to enhance the present technology, it is an interdisciplinary epitome. That means, the tribology it is itself a subject which is a interdisciplinary one in between so many things friction, wear or maybe the surface or maybe the properties of all the bodies. Also, it is a vast and interdisciplinary subject ranging from fundamental physics of surface contact and additions to the applications of advanced materials and lubricants to solve practical industrial friction and wear problems. So, now onwards we can understand that tribology is a part which is a big factor when we are losing our material properties as well as the our material properties are decreasing its all the physical as well as the chemical properties by which the logic behind it is that friction and wear. Example in engineering are bearings, engine pistons interactions etcetera and also in role in nature is observed in human joints like hip and knee. There are numerous examples which deals with the tribology. So, tribology is as I already told that tribology is nothing but the friction or maybe wear or maybe the interactions in between the two bodies. So, there are several applications in our human body we are having the knee jo uh, sorry elbow joints, then uh, knee joints, then uh, hip joints. So, where all the bones are contacting each other. So, in between that also there is creating some kind of frictions and by body fluid or giving some kind of uh, other fluids we are making it more suitable slippery kind of thing so that the friction wear and wear can decrease. So, there are two aspects of tribology, first one is called the science which deals with the basic mechanisms of the tribology itself and the second is called the technology which deals with the design, manufacture and maintenance. Next slide just we will first discuss that what is the benefits of the tribology. So, the benefits of the tribology that means that why we are doing the tribology, why we are reading or maybe the studying the tribology, what benefit we will get from the tribological uh, science. 
So, first is called the corrosion prevention. So, we can do some kind of coatings or maybe we can add some kind of materials to the base materials so that it will be corrosive uh, proof so that we can keep that material longer time into the environment set so that there will not be any interactions in between the uh, materials and the environment uh, like uh, moisture or maybe humidity something like that. Second is that investigation of the damage why this cuts contaminations or the material properties is going to be decrease and decrease all these things. Third is that management of the knowledge. So, we can gather the knowledge about our materials and then last one is called the environmental friendly and the recycle one. So, the material will be environmental friendly, it will be hazard uh, less hazard so that that material can be used for a longer time. Not only that after finishing the life of that particular material, again we can modify that material and we can use for other applications also. Second is that what is the methods used in tribology? So, first one is called the contact mechanics. So, all this uh, whatever the methods has been written over here will come together in the subsequent, uh, subsequent uh, uh, slides. So, first one, is, uh, first one is called the contact mechanics, then is called the lubricant technology, then it is called the construction technology, then coating and surface technology, then tribometry and tribochemistry. All these six aspects is deals with the different types of methods whatever we are using in tribology. Then what is the disciplines of tribology? That means which branches as I already said that tribology is nothing but the interdisciplinary subject. So, all these main branches like material science, chemistry, nanotechnology, mechanical engineering, both branches are doing the tribology or rather they are doing the research on tribology. But here a very few names has been written, other branches like civil or um, uh, biotechnology, each and everywhere we can see the tribology they are doing the research on uh, tribology or maybe they are doing the work on tribology. So, first before going to start that what is the concept behind the tribology, first let us know that who has invented this tribology uh, uh, logic first, who has given us the uh, first this fundamental things. So, as I already told that tribology is a Greek word. So, it means that it is not a new word and not a new, it is uh, in it was a new word, but not a new field. It has been defined by Dr. H. Peter Jost in England in the year 1966. So, that means that word is coming for a long time in our history, but we have started doing the tribology or maybe we have started studying the tribology in very recent years just to modify our samples, just to give the more life to our samples. The Next, the Jost report provided to the British Parliament Ministry for Education and Science indicated that potential savings of over uh, 515 million pound per year for industry by better application of tribological principles and practices. Then there is a here you can see the figure of the famous uh, painter. Uh, because we know he is a famous painter, his name is Leonardo da Vinci, but simultaneously he was a very good scientist too. So, he has given the first uh, two laws of friction which is very important which is related to the tribology. So, that is why nowadays we are calling it as a father of tribology too. So, one is called the areas in contact have no effect on frictions and the second one is friction directly proportional to the load of an object. So, from these laws totally the tribology science deals. So, there are five basic laws of frictions. So, what are those? So, number one law states that when an object is moving the friction is proportional and perpendicular to the normal force. This is the basic fundamental of any tribological aspects. Then second one is that friction is independent of the area of contact so long as there is an area of contact. So, this is known as the second law of tribology. Then third one is known as the coefficient of static friction is slightly greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction. And fourth one is called that with rather large limits kinetic friction is independent of velocity 
and fifth is known as friction depends upon the nature of the surface in contact. So, in the next subsequent slide when we will go into the deeper into the tribology, so we will discuss about all the five basic laws of tribology. Then we have to know what is the realistic importance of the tribology because why we are doing the tribology, what is the basic needs, what is the background of doing the tribology. So, first is that because these all are the examples that why we are going to do the tribology in today's uh, era. So, first is called the losses due to the ignorance of tribology amounts to about 4 percent in GDP of USA or about 200 dollar billion dollars per year. Thus, it is necessary to control wear and reduce friction for economic reason. So, from this particular figure, you can understand that one country's GDP is totally depending upon the loss and wear of particular materials. So, if we improve those material properties, if we do improve those materials characteristics, so that we can minimize these losses. Reduction in surface friction through basic tribological techniques extend the working life of resurfaced materials thus saving large sums of money and leading to conservation of material energy and the environment. The meaning of this sentence is that whatever the material nowadays we are preparing, so after using certain time either its properties is going to be decreased or maybe it is changing its characteristics. So, by doing the tribology studies or by doing the surface engineering studies, what we can do? We can do the modification of the surface of that particular material, so that it can be reused further. So, what will happen? It will reduce the total operating cost of that particular material, simultaneously it will reduce the maintenance cost of that particular material too. How? Because if I will reject this material and I will make that new material, so the cost will be almost double. Rather to just to modify the outer surface or do the repairing by this science or maybe by this technology, so that we can save the money. Third one is called the micro and nano tribology have been gaining ground frictional interactions in microscopically small components are becoming increasingly important for the development of new products in electronics, life science, chemistry, sensors or by extension of all modern technology. That means, nowadays we are making our devices smaller and smaller. So, it is going into the small size, it is more complex than before. So, if we see that previously whatever the uh, aerospace shuttle or maybe the uh, computer hard disk or maybe the mobile or maybe any kind of electronic gadgets whatever we are using that was in the bigger in size and heavier in weight. But nowadays whatever the mobiles or maybe computers or maybe laptops, iPads whatever may be we are using all the electronic gadgets are becoming smaller and smaller. That means, we are making it simpler, we are making it more uh, complicated uh, uh, chips type of things, so that its size will be reduced, its uh, uh, weight will be in the less, but its function will be the more. So, by doing this what we are doing? We are making the whole design into a smaller box or maybe in a smaller way. So, automatically there will be a contact in between the devices, there will be a contact in between the instruments or maybe the chips. So, when there will be a contact in between the chips or maybe the devices, so automatically the frictional force or the wear generation will be taking place. Now, in the next slide we will see what is the fundamental aspects of tribology. So, if we divided the fundamental aspects of tribology in three ways. So, generally first one is called the frictions which is nothing but the resistance to the relative motions. If I give a load to a particular body, so what it will do? It will try to resist its motions, right. So, when it will try to resist its motion, then automatically the frictional force will be generated. Second one is called the wear, wear is nothing but due to the frictions, whatever the material loss will be taking place. And third one is called the lubrications, lubrications is nothing but the reducing of the friction. So, that by using the lubrications like any oil or maybe grease or maybe any kind of slippery motion, uh, slippery materials, we can put it in between the contact surface of these two mating parts. So, that is the automatically the lubricate, uh, it will be lubricated and the frictional force will be going down. So, first 
we have to know what is the friction. So, friction is the force resisting the relative motions of solid surface, fluid layers and material elements sliding against each other. So, as I already told earlier that if there will be a contact in between the two surface and the two surface is having some motions opposite to each other, it may be one surface in, in into the static, another surface will be the into dynamic or maybe both will be in the dynamic or maybe both will be in the static also. Each and every time the friction will be taking place, but the amount of friction will be different for each cases. So, from this particular figure you can understand that if we rub our hand, so automatically it will resist each other so that it will be heated up. So, uh, the best example is that in winter conditions when our hand is getting cold so that we are rubbing our hands to generate certain kind of heat so that we can save our body temperature. Second one is called the wear. So, as I already told that wear is nothing but the it is a result due to the friction. So, when there will be some friction, so automatically there will be some heat will be generated and the material loss will be taking places. So, the material loss is will be occur in terms of wear. So, wear is the erosions or sideways displacement of material from its derivative and original positions on a solid surface performed by the action of another surface. And the third one is called the lubrications as I already told that we are using certain kind of greasy materials, oil or maybe certain kind of other materials to make the slippery in between the mating parts. So, that there, there will be a less contact in between the uh, parts so that friction generation will be less. Then what are the applications? Applications are numerous if we think that uh, the what is the uh, uh, because it is very difficult to count nowadays because uh, in that advanced technology it is very difficult to count that how much is the uh, applications for any tribological aspects. So, first one is called the manufacturing process. So, manufacturing process is deals with the rolling, turning, stamping, grinding, polishing. There are n number of applications which we are facing day to day life. Then individual components like brake, clutch pads, gear, bearing where the tribology or maybe the friction is taking place. Assembles of products, pocket watch, engines, curling stones, rock climbing shoes, so each and everywhere. Not only that when we are putting our hands inside the pocket also, it is also creating some kind of frictions and the tribological aspects is going on. Then the natural phenomena water erosions, wind erosions, super hydrophobicity, lotus leaf. So, when the, on the lotus leaf also the water droplet is coming, it is also creating some kind of friction over there. So, each and every case not only that when the rain is coming and the rain is dropping onto our vehicles or maybe on our bodies also there is certain kind of frictions is taking place. Though the value is very very less or maybe the negligible, but still there is certain kind of frictions is taking place. Then constructions of explorations, mine slurry pumps, excavator oil, drilling rig, ch channel drilling rig, space shuttle. So, these all are the different kinds of aspects where we can generally face the tribology. So, next is called the what are the new areas about the tribology. So, first one is called the new interdisciplinary fields of tribology have also emerged recently which study friction, wear and lubrications at nano scale. Nowadays, we are talking about the nano. Nano technology or maybe nano science is the science which deals with the particles which are in into the nanometer range. Till now, we are discussing about the macro. So, now we are coming to the nano. Actually, if we see that nano materials, though it is very, very small, we cannot see it by the naked eyes also, but when they will interacting each other, there is also they are generating certain kind of frictions in between the them. They are also creating some kind of tribological aspects in between them. So, first one is called the nano tribology, which is a study of tribological behavior on small scale or maybe the nano scale. Biotribology includes tribological studies in biological systems, green tribology novel field of study relating to green chemistry and green engineering. So, from this we can understand that tribology is basically divided into three parts. First is called the nano tribology, second one is called the bio tribology, third one is called the green tribology or maybe the green chemistry. So, first let us discuss what is 
nanotribology. So, nanotribology refers to investigations of interficial process in the molecular and atomic scale where addition, friction, scratching, wear, nano indentation and thin film lubrications occurs at the sliding surface. So, as I already discussed that nano tribology is deals with the particle size having a very small dimensions. So, when the small size particle will interact each other that is known as the nano scale tribology. So, nano tribology is studied by various measurement tools like surface for force apparatus, scanning tunneling microscope and atomic force microscopy, friction force microscopy. So, these all are the devices which can detect, which can investigate, which can measure the tribology in into the nano scale level. So, here why we need the need of nano tribology? Because nano tribology dealt with three different aspects. One is called the advanced healthcare second is called the energy conversions and storage, third one is called the micro craft space explorations and industrializations. So, when we are talking about the advanced healthcare, as we know nowadays we are dealing with the targeted drug delivery. So, we are putting certain kind of nano particles through some uh, tablets or maybe uh, some kind of capsules, then we are swelling it and then it is directly going to the affected part of our body and directly it can uh, uh, react with the affected part and it can recover that particular part. So, when that nano particles is going through our body, it is dealing with the some kind of tribological aspects inside our body itself with the body fluid like blood or maybe any kind of body fluid. Then second is called the energy conversion and storage. Nowadays we are talking about the supercapacitor, lithium ion battery, solar cell where we are using several types of nano fillers. We are incorporating the nano fillers. Not only that we are using it for the sensors, actuators, space shuttles everywhere any kind of electronic device. So, when we are injecting any kind of nano fillers, we are mixing the nano fillers with the matrix. Then it is going into the uh, materials and then again it is rubbing each other or maybe it is trying to interact to each other. So, by which the tribology aspect or maybe the tribology properties can enhance. Third one is called the microcraft space explorations and industrializations for the latest purpose suppose any kind of uh, vehicles or maybe any kind of um, uh, uh, shuttle uh, space shuttle where we are using certain kind of nanoparticles then when it is going to the space then while coming back it is abrading with the air so that it can create a certain kind of tribological aspects. Then next one is the scale of tribology. So, we can divide this all this nano tribology into different scales. So, first one is called the in the meter range whatever we are doing that is known as the unit tribology or machinery tribology deals with the tribological factors which influence the performance, efficiency, reliability, lifetime of machines. When we are coming to the decimeters, so deci tribology or component tribology define the performance, torque forces, vibrations, clearance and alignment from the interaction of the components. And then when you are uh, talking about the milli tribology to macro tribology rather we can say it or contact tribology are responsible for observed wear mechanisms such as scuffing, scoring and pitting. Then we are talking about the micro uh, tribology. So, micro tribology or aspirated tribology is related to aspects such as fracture, elastic, plastic deformations, surface layer formations and topography effect. And then last the nano, um, uh, nano tribology is coming. So, nano tribology or molecular tribology related to the interactions between molecules and atoms such as the effects due to the van der Waals force interacting in between the molecules. Then second one is called the biotribology. So, biotribology is nothing but the tribology which uh, at acts uh, which, uh, which uh, depends upon the or maybe which can create by any kind of biological materials. So, biotribology relates to the study of tribological studies in biological systems like jaws, spine, eyes. So, when we are blinking our eyes that our eye lips, it is 
uh, rubbing onto our eyeballs. So, automatically it is generating certain kind of tribological aspects over there. So, for which what we are doing? So, we are having some kind of uh, eye fluid which is acting as a lubricant in between that. But sometimes we can find that our eyes is getting reddish or maybe it is paining. So, that times generally doctor advise to put some eye lubricating gel over there. So, what it will do? It will make a lubrication or maybe lubricating it is acting as a lubricating fling in between your eye leaf and your eyeballs. So, that automatically your friction will be reduced. Also, it involves about the field related to biomechanics, biochemistry, biology, physiology, clinical medicine and pathology. The goal actually of the bio uh, tribologist is to evaluate biological systems and understand how they function with such tribological efficiency providing increased understanding of their normal as well as their pathological aspects. So, from this particular figure you can understand there is we have given certain kind of joints over there joint structure in our uh, maybe elbow or maybe knee or maybe hip where or constantly from day to day uh, day to night that tribological aspects or maybe the friction is going on. Also, when we are using the con uh, contact lens in our eyes also, that contact lens is continuously rubbing with our eye lips. So, automatically there is a tribological parameter is going on. And the last one is called the green tribology. So, green tribology refers to the renewable and biodegradable materials. It is studied in two different fields. One is called the green chemistry, another one is called the green engineering. So, consists of chemical or chemical process designed to reduce or eliminate negative environmental impacts. From that particular things, you can understand when you are talking about the green, green means that whatever the material, whatever the wastage we are producing, that will not uh, be harmful to the environment and that will not create any kind of hazardness to the human being. Next is the green engineering which is defines as the design, commercializations and use of process and products that are technically and economically feasible which minimize pollutions and risk to the human health. So, it will not create any problem to us. Areas of green tribology, so there are three areas where we can look. First one is called the tribology or renewable or sustainable sources of energy. Second is called the biomimetic and self lubricating materials or surfaces. Third is called the biodegradable and environmental friendly lubricants where we can do the green uh, tribology. So, there are 12 principles actually which deals with the green tribology. First one is called the minimization of heat and energy dissipation. So, whatever material we are preparing that should not release much heat to the environment or maybe that should not produce high energy so that it can create to the human being or maybe the to the animals. Next minimizations of the wear so that automatically the friction will be less. So, the material loss will be less. Reductions or complete eliminations of lubrications and self lubrications. And if we make certain kind of lubrications, so there should be any biocompatible products attached to that so that it will not be chemically hazard. Next, natural lubrications generally we prefer, then biodegradable lubrications also we can use sustainable chemistry and green engineering principles where we can maintain the green chemistry. Biomimetic approaches, surface texturing, environmental implications of coatings. So, if we are doing certain kind of coatings onto material to save its life, to enhance its uh, service uh, life, so that we can use certain kind of coatings which is made by any biodegradable product. Design of degradation of surfaces, coatings and tribological components, real time monitoring and sustainable energy applications. Then what are the materials of tribology? So, for satisfactory applications of tribology, there is requirement of proper tribological systems. So, there are any type of materials we can use, but that material should have the capability that it will generate the less frictions, it will generate the less heat, so that the material properties will not diminished. 
This system includes contact geometry and contact pressure, type of motions, relative sliding speed, nature and thickness of any interspecial material and atmospheric environment. So, whatever the material we are going to use, that material should have all these capabilities, so that they can satisfy the tribological aspects, so that there will be a less lubrication, uh, less frictions and less wear will be taking place. Tribology compatible material should be selected which are mutually insoluble and exhibit low tendency of additions, thus forming a suitable tribological systems. Selection of materials for tribological applications can be done from wide range like metal, polymer, ceramics, any kind of materials which you are using in our day to day life, that material can occur any kind of uh, tribology. So, just to solve this tribological problem, we can do the surface preparation properly, treatment and functionalization of that particular material, so that it will not generate that much of frictions, that much of heat, that much of wear. So, as a summary, we can conclude our first lecture that tribology is a multidisciplinary field of study and research, reduce material wear and increases lifetime and reliability. Wear may be due to abrasions, friction, erosions and corrosions, which we will study in our subsequent slide. Purpose of tribology is to reduce the wear through surface engineering process, that is also will come in later use of lubricants, so that it will generate the less frictions, so that the material will go on in its own properties. And last one is that tribology is gaining importance in emerging field of nanotribology, biotribology and green tribology.